Do you enjoy cruising, hanging out with your friends and family? Have you thought about getting married on a cruise ship? In this video, I'm going to give you some pros and cons about getting married on a cruise ship. Taking a cruise is a great way to vacation. You get to see different places, many restaurants to choose from. There's bars, there's activity, you can hang out by the pool. There's a lot to do on the cruise. Now, each cruise line has their own wedding department, so it makes it very easy. But what's important, I think, is again, you work with a travel professional that knows cruise lines as well as weddings. The important thing is don't just go for one of the cheap cruises that you see, because it may not be a great cruise. So you want to talk with your travel professional to understand who you are, who the guests are, where you want to go, if you're a foodie. So they help you pick the right cruise line for your vacation, which you happen to be getting married on. Now the nice thing about getting married on a cruise is you have multiple options. You can either get married on the day of embarkation. So let's say you're going to get on the ship in San Juan or in Miami or in New York in Boston. You can actually get married that day. Now when you do that, you can actually have your friends and family that are not sailing with you come to the ship and watch you get married on the ship. Now each cruise line has a limitation of the number of people that they will allow to get on. Um, with COVID, I think this whole thing may change. So we're not really sure. We've talked to some of the cruise lines and at this point they're not answering questions yet about if we can still do this. The other option you have is getting married on board the ship. Now when you do this, your guests and your family and friends will be sailing with you. So when you do this, you need to pick a cruise, whether it's three, four, five, seven, 14 days that everybody can go on because your guests can't go for three days and go, hey, I'm going to get off in St. Thomas because I have to go back to work and get to see if you want. Your third option would be to have your wedding at one of the ports the ship stops at. Now this is really cool. Think about it. How many people have actually gotten married on a glacier in Alaska or on a beach in Santorini or maybe at a waterfall in Iceland? So when you do this, what we typically will do is work with a contact we have in each of the destinations to arrange your wedding. So it's very unique that you can have your wedding someplace in the world and then go hop back on your cruise ship and go do what you want. The other thing you can do is actually get married on the ship in the given destination. So that's pretty cool also. All the cruise lines have wedding packages. So some of them are really inexpensive, as low as two or $300 and some of them go up to thousands of dollars. It really just depends what you want in your wedding package. If you want just a simple ceremony, being married by the captain, just the two of you, maybe with a little wedding cake, that could be a couple hundred dollars. I think another nice thing is, it's just cruising is a great way to vacation so that you can get married, and then the next day you're on your honeymoon. The other nice thing is, as a pro, you can be with your friends and family for that week and really have a lot of time exploring different parts of the world after you get married. So it's a great way to have a destination wedding is on a cruise ship. Now I would say getting married on a cruise ship is good for smaller groups. When we've done cruise ship weddings, it may be two, three, four, six people, 20 people, but it typically is not going to be the way to go if you're gonna have 50 to 100 people. So part of my cons would be, I think choosing a cruise destination wedding is good for small groups, but not big groups. One of the negatives for me is most cruise ship weddings are kind of package based and cookie cutter. So if you're having dreams of being married at sea, having a private reception, a private cocktail party, maybe a welcome party, that typically doesn't happen with most of the cruise lines. They're really kind of cookie cutterish, make it simple. And that's why I say they're really good for smaller groups. Many lines don't have private rooms they'll give you. They won't privatize the bar or the piano club. Um, so that's a negative. The way we resolve that is, again, if you're going to have a reception at one of the ports that we stop at, we can do that in St. Thomas or in Mexico or Greece or Alaska, wherever it is, we can work and create an amazing private event for you at one of those places. The only problem with that is that if anything happens with the itinerary, and cruise ships do change their itineraries periodically, that let's say we plan an event for you in St. Thomas or Grand Cayman, and the weather is bad or the seas are rough and they can't get the tenders over, the ship will cancel that stop 
well, your wedding just was canceled. So again, that's an issue when we plan weddings that are at one of the ports versus on the ship or at the embarkation. Just something to think about. Another con would be that the inflexibility of the dates. So sometimes when we do a tropical beach destination wedding, we may say it's a four night stay, but guests may come early, someone may come six nights, some may come two. With the cruise, if you're gonna get married at sea, whoever your guests are, they're coming for whatever that cruise we book for you. So that whatever it is, there's no flexibility. We've had people say, okay, well, I'm gonna get off in St. Thomas or Grand Cayman and fly home early. It, we can do it, it's not easy. So I think you have to think about, look at the itinerary that you want to go on and plan on whoever you're inviting. If they're going to come, they're coming with you for that trip. If you're thinking about having a rehearsal or a rehearsal dinner, um, most of the cruise line's packages don't really have rehearsals for your ceremonies. They'll provide you a planner on board that'll help you through it. But again, it's really more of a cookie cutter event. I would say when you get to some of the smaller boutique cruise lines, or smaller ships, they will have custom events and things like that. We've actually chartered a cruise ship for a client's wedding. It was a smaller ship. So it's something to think about. If you really want to do something custom with a bigger group, we can look for smaller ships to charter, river cruises, maybe some of the Windstar ships. But if you're thinking Royal Caribbean, Holland America, Celebrity, um, a lot of their package tend to be package oriented. So you're not going to have the ability to have that rehearsal event or a private dinner in a restaurant. We can do it, but when they do it, they tend to be expensive, which also goes to one of my next points is, if you wanna customize and add the DJ and have the photographer, you can't bring an outside vendor if you're on the ship. The pricing we see with the ships for decor and things like that, if they will even do it, tends to be expensive. If you stick with one of their packages, it tends to be pretty inexpensive and reasonably priced, but again, they're cookie cutter, and they tend to be non-customizable. So planning your cruise wedding is a lot of fun. I think you really wanna start with a travel professional that knows the cruise ships and knows the itinerary, so first can match you with the right itinerary you wanna go on. And then the next thing is then determine how you wanna get married. Do you wanna get married either before the ship leaves, midway through by the captain at sea, or as a potential in one of the ports the ship stops at and have an event there. So you have a lot of options getting married at sea. It's a fun way to get married. It's a fun way to go on vacation and cruising is more and more popular for everybody. So hopefully you've enjoyed this information about getting married at sea. If we can be of any help, let us know. I'm Jack with Vacationese.